Hello everyone. Welcome back to the series solving SQL interview questions. In our last videos, we have covered the SQL interview questions asked at Google and Netflix. In this video, we'll be covering an SQL interview question asked at Amazon. So let's go ahead and start solving. The problem that we'll be solving today is monthly percentage difference. Given a table of purchases by date, calculate the month over month percentage change in revenue. The output should include the year month date in this particular format and percentage change rounded to the second decimal point and sorted from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. The percentage change column will be populated from the second month forward and can be calculated as this month's revenue minus last month's revenue divided by last month's revenue into 100. So they're also giving an idea on how to calculate this percentage change column. According to our approach, the first step is to understand the inputs and the outputs. And we can do that by reading the question clearly once again. Since they're saying given a table of purchases by date, calculate month over month percentage change in revenue, there is some daytime column involved here. So for me to confirm whether we have a daytime column or not, I need to have a closer look at all the columns in the table. So if I scroll down, I can see all the available columns in that particular table, which is named as the SF transaction. So I see ID created at value purchase ID. So my input is going to be the daytime column, which is created at and since they are wanting the percentage change in the revenue, I'm guessing the value is the one which contains the revenue number. So my inputs are going to be created at value. And they said the output should include the month year date and percentage change. So my output are simply going to be that month year column and also the percentage change column that we'll be calculating using the formula that they have mentioned in the question. So the second step of our approach is articulating a solution verbally to the interviewer, which is basically explaining our approach and getting a confirmation of our understanding. As specified in our question, the output should contain the date time column in a particular format, which is basically in the year and month. I'm going to use the date format function in my SQL, which will help me extract the year and also the month for that particular output column. And they are also asking us to calculate the percentage change in the revenue. Before we calculate the percentage change in the revenue, we first need to calculate the revenue, right? And for that, I'm going to use the sum for the entire value column and group it by the month and year column that we are extracting so that we can get the month wise revenue. And this will generate the revenue for us. So once the revenue is generated, I'm going to now calculate the percentage change in the revenue using the formula described in the question. So in that question, they're using the terms such as previous month and current month. And one function that comes to my head for calculating the percentage change is the lag, which is a window function. And I'm going to use the lag for that. Now, they've also explicitly mentioned that they want us to round off the entire percentage change to two decimal points. And for that, I'm going to use the round function with the input as two so that the decimal points are rounded off at two. And finally, they want us to order this as per the starting year. So I'm going to order it by the month year column that we are generating. So this is basically going to be my approach. Now, the third step of our approach is constructing the query step by step. The first step of our query was extracting the month and the year from the date time column using the date format function. So select date format from the created at column. It has to be in the format percentage Y percentage M. And I'm going to give this column a name as year month. And this data is coming from SF transactions. So I'm going to now run the query. As you can see on the screen, we have extracted the year and month column using the date format. Now the second step is calculating the total revenue. So for that, I'm just going to check sum of value and give this a revenue name and I'm going to group it by this column 
year month so that I get the monthly revenue. So I'm now going to run the query again. As you can see in the output, we now have the monthly revenue. Now our next step in constructing our query is calculating the percentage change in the revenue using the lag window function. And we are going to use the formula that has been described in the question. So as described in the question, I'm going to first use the formula this month's revenue minus last month's revenue, which is for this month's revenue, I'm simply just going to say sum of value. And for last month's revenue is where I'm going to use lag of sum of value. Okay. And since this is a window function to indicate the SQL that this is a window function, I'm going to use the over clause and I'm going to put this entire thing in brackets and divide this entire thing by last month's revenue again, which is where I'm going to use the lag sum of value. And I'm going to indicate that this is a window function and I'm going to multiply this with 100. And I'm going to give this column a name percentage revenue. And I'm going to run this. As you can see the output now, we have the year month revenue and percentage revenue. Now this next step is rounding off this entire thing to two decimals. So I'm now going to use round function. And then comma it by two, and then going to run this code again. And you should be able to see that this is now rounded off into two decimals. Now the last step that we need to do is basically ordering this by the year month. I'm now just simply going to say order by year month. And then I'm going to run. And you can see that again, this has been ordered. So this is our output. Since our question says that the output should only include the year, date, month and the percentage change, I no longer need to show this revenue column. So I'm just simply going to remove this. Or you just simply have the year and the percentage revenue. So yeah, that's how we approach this particular SQL problem. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.